that clock is not right and I don't have a thermometer and people are still asleep. So let's try not to wake the crew as we greet the day. It's a Thursday and it's a Thursday full of once in a lifetime. Once in a lifetime events happen somewhere to somebody every single day. I've never slept below decks where there was a cannon ready to be fired feet over my head. I literally slept right underneath that cannon right there. And conveniently, I can duck down behind the mast here, the foremast, show you where we are and get out of the wind. I'll give you some hints. That's the Jamestown Bridge, which connects Newport, Rhode Island to Jamestown, the island right over there. We're on the harbor. And this ship, though not built in 1812, is a replica of an 1812 privateer. Now, for those that you've been following along for some time, you know that this ship came right by my house last October and spent some time in Weymouth, Massachusetts. Yes, this is the Lynx. And it just completed a voyage 950, 60 miles from St. Simon, Georgia, its winter home. Uh, north to Newport, Rhode Island, on its way to its summer home, Nantucket Island. And fortunately, I was invited for the last leg of the trip, which was to be either yesterday or today, but the weather prevented that. Uh, this is not a tropical storm. It just looks and feels like one, maybe not in the wind department, but certainly in the rain department. Uh, the rainfall just lifted north of us. It's been pouring all night. We picked up about four inches of rain here in Newport Harbor, but you move just inland. I think we've passed six inches now in Kingstown. Actually, it's a little to the west, isn't it? And so this is a, a once in a lifetime May 16 rainfall. Uh, the most rain we've ever had in 18 hours in, uh, in the middle of May in South Central Rhode Island. There's a flood warning in effect this morning. The rain bands continue lifting north and west. Now, the wind didn't quite verify. Nantucket has gusted to 36 miles an hour, as far as I know. So some strong gusts, but not as gusty as the HRR said. But the HRR also was correct in five inches of rain or more. And it's not done yet. Uh, there's the radar. And you can see we're just on the drier side. Uh, Nantucket, by the way, only picked up a third of an inch of rain. I think we got more in Boston than we got on Nantucket. And here's the HRR. Actually, let me show the satellite image. Just a fabulous satellite image from about 7 a.m. of the real thick clouds and the outer bands all the way into eastern New York now. And you can almost make out the center of the circulation south of Long Island and the convection, the tall thunderstorm type clouds arcing in from south of Cape Cod into primarily Rhode Island, central Rhode Island and Connecticut with the outer bands now reaching all the way into Vermont, New Hampshire and uh, southern Maine. So here's the HRR kind of shows that situation with the, the storm kind of expanding and diminishing in intensity. And so the rain will slowly shut down today. Uh, here's the surface map this morning. Uh, you get a, about a thousand. No, it's a 998, 998, just uh, just low enough pressure for gale center. It's uh, about uh, two nine point four eight on your barometer. And then there's a 1020 high up there over Ontario, but there's a front in northern New England, that front trying to keep the air coming in from the southwest and far northern New England, while this low-level circulation tries to keep the air coming in from the east and the northeast and will succeed here in southern New England. Is it a warm core storm? Well, if you look at the 700 millibars, uh, the blue, this is about 10,000 feet, blue is cold, cold enough for snow at 10,000 feet in northern New England. So where have we seen this before? Every Wednesday and Thursday for the last month with colder air coming in on a Wednesday and Thursday from the north. But you look at the center of the load south of Long Island, it looks like it's, it's all yellow in there. That's warmer air, so it does look somewhat warm core. So I think we could call this a hybrid, high barometer, subtropical nor'easter. <laughs> and it's going to have impact on us going forward for several days, really. Uh, let's go out to... Well, why don't you sh I, I, I show you the, the Newport, Rhode Island, because I always like to forecast where I am. And the Newport, Rhode Island, uh, the GFS actually has the sun coming out over the next several days after the rain wanes today. And the weekend looks pretty nice, doesn't it? But the wind continues from the northeast. And then the Euro keeps the low clouds and 
fog coming in. I think a blend of these two things. We're gonna have an ocean flow. By the way, right over my head, I can hear the wind just picking up now. That is a bespoke flag. That is the Bruins flag uh, flying. Celtics, good job last night. Now we need the Bruins to do the same thing. Come back from three to one, it's three two now. And so we're gonna be uh, going ashore. I think we have to stay here in port for another day because of the wind. Oh, we get a flag raising happening over here. That's great. I'm gonna be here for the flag raising. And let's show the Euro. It shows this low kind of dipping south and weakening and, and the front in central New England kind of dissipating. And it's gonna be leaving us with higher pressure in southeastern Canada, lower pressure uh, to our south. So it's gonna keep the flow coming from the east and the northeast. And, and there's another system kind of coming at us on Saturday. It's a decaying front that looks like it wants to form a low off the mid-Atlantic states. That's kind of a wild card. Uh, the latest guidance is that low kind of settling south and just kind of sitting there. So you get two lows wobbling around to our south. But eventually, high pressure takes over. And it does look Sunday. The sun should come out just about everywhere Sunday, if not sooner. Uh, northern New England, a lot better weather than southern New England, by the way, next several days. And Monday... It looks warm, almost like summertime. There goes the flag. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Flag raising. And it's the big flag. Uh, Tuesday. Uh, Wild Card Tuesday. We've been showing that. Every Tuesday has been beautiful, right? And then we've been showing this for the last four days where there was a low, subtropical low off of South Carolina. And then yesterday it was gone. Well, it's back today. It's there. <laughs> It's nowhere near the way it came in before. This one's because of a low that goes off the mid-Atlantic in a couple days and stalls down there. And to our north, what was a blizzard four days ago and the guidance is now just a weak low and a few rain showers way up there in Quebec with more colder air way out to the west of Hudson Bay. And next week, if we put that back in motion, that colder air does come at us late next week. Another front on a Wednesday and Thursday with colder air coming in, but that one may be dry, hopefully. And the 540 is here next Thursday and Friday going into Memorial Day weekend. It looks dry, but that would be unstable, but that would be pretty cool, delightful air. So hopefully we're washing away the pollen at your house. It's real challenging. I have no Wi-Fi out here, so I'm not sure I'm going to be able to post this really. I'm kind of um, I'm trying to uh, share airplay with my macbook and also looking at lenses and editing i get a little seasick when the boat's going up and down but hopefully we'll complete this so the end more is going to be our journey down here and what it's like aboard a privateer a little bit from yesterday and going out to dinner on the dinghy you got to dress like that when you go out to dinner in newport on a rainy day <laughs> because here's our transportation right here <laughs> on the other side of the cannon <laughs> That's the uh, taxi into town. And we get a little wet on that taxi. Uh, but the crew knows how to dress and take care of us. We're much appreciated. Yes, sir. So I didn't know who was raising the flag because I couldn't see behind the mast. <laughs> What's your name again? I'm Maya. Maya. <laughs> so does the flag go up regardless of the weather? Yeah, so we have a... This is actually our storm ensign. It's a little bit smaller and... Uh, you know, we don't like to beat up our <laughs> ensign. Our ensign, so we have a, a special one to set up when the winds are a little bit higher. So the it does usually go up unless it's it's super extreme. Then. Yeah. Yeah. Every morning at so zero you get to stay in port uh, for a day. So does it mean kind of a slower day for you or not? Oh, absolutely. And I don't know if anyone else is going in either. Small boat tipped. Uh, I would love the opportunity to organize my boat. <laughs> oh, okay. So, so an organized day. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And the weather is, I think the weather is nice. I like when it's raining. <laughs> I like when it's a little bit stormy. So. There were a few spots where the rain kind of snuck into the cabin a little bit. But. Yes, yes. Do you know that we had five to six inches of rain last 24 hours, the wettest May 16th and 17th in your life in Southern Rhode Island? In my life. Well... I don't have a lot of it, but um, that is very exciting. Once in a lifetime weather somewhere every day. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Maya. Great, absolutely. Yeah. Of course, there's fascinating weather. There's always fascinating weather. It follows me and what we're doing today. It's pretty special. I think I'm going to be needing that sweatshirt, Matt. Would you mind if I take that sweatshirt? It's going to be a little chilly where we're going.
Straight up noon, we are on the northern edge of that, not a tropical storm, but kind of similar in wind and rain headed south on 24. I guess you know where we are now, but and more and more. We left the sunshine and off the stern. And Mitt is not in the suitcase. Over. We do not have a cat with us. I think it may be time to issue a now cast advisory. In other words, we're only going to know what the weather is right now by looking out the window as we go over this bridge. You can tell it's really raining on the other side. This is a Sakonic River. Sakonic. I hear they got wine around here somewhere. And so we're probably changing towns. And you can feel the tropical moisture. People fishing down there. Stripers are in. 